Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Very well. Thank you for asking. How was your day? <laughs> okay. Okay. Vamos a esperar solo unos minutos para ver si se agregan más personas. Okay, uh, welcome everybody to the English class. Um, today is the last class of this week and the next week is going to be the last week of this module. So, how is the platform going? Did you finish already? ¿Todavía nos falta algo de la plataforma? Bueno, los que le falta... Okay, finish, good. A los que le falta, pues, uh, hay que tratar de meterle, ¿verdad? Esta semana tendría que estar terminado la parte de la sección 4. Uh, y luego, pues, la otra semana, ahí por el miércoles, no esperemos hasta el jueves. Tiene que ser miércoles 
que tiene que estar terminado ya la sección 5. Ok. Eh, pues igual si hay preguntas o dudas, ahí me van preguntando y con gusto las vamos solventando. Ok, actually we're going to check uh, a little bit of the, um, uh, the contents that are there in the platform. So for 4.0. Uh, it says in this session participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. So, esto es algo que ya vimos nosotros acá. And then there is a video about appearance. Also, we were checking in class that we can describe appearance, uh, attitudes or feelings, and you can describe clothes. Then in lesson uh, 4.2 it says in the session participants uh, participants will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person adjectives of appearance will be practiced aquí es donde ya empezamos a ver un poquito más la, la otra gramática ¿verdad? luego tenemos el video she is very tall so it's a description and then uh, in the 4.4 it says in this session you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. And um, we have another video that is for describing people. This is the little grammar that we were checking the last time. Do you remember? Uh, when we describe other people. So you can say, who is Carlos? Uh, Carlos is the one that is talking to Sofia, for example. So you describe. So other people will be able to identify them. Of course, we have a knowledge check. In this one, uh, we need to be careful because this is with boxes. Remember that, for example, in this one, in the number one, in the question, you will see that there is the question mark. So in the answer, we don't need to uh, write or type uh, the question mark. No spaces, no periods, no commas. Uh, if you enter something like that, it's going to be incorrect. So, just be careful about this one. Uh, the ones that you finish this part, any questions, anything, any comments? No, teacher. Good. Then we have 4.7, where it says in this session, participants will listen to description of five people in order to develop participants' listening skills. Okay, and of course we have the listening. Uh, again, let's be careful on what we type in the box. If you type a uh, space, any other thing that is not part of the answer, uh, it's not going to be correct. And let me just remember, then it says 4.9. In this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. And, of course, we have a little video. Which one is she? So, it's like describing, as you can see there in the conversation. Uh, it says, uh, she couldn't make it. Uh, do you know what is that? That is a good question, actually. Here in the conversation, it says, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? And then it says, she couldn't make it. Do you know what is that? That is actually very common. No teacher. Okay, when you say in this situation, when uh, the conversation says she couldn't make it, is no pudo venir. Okay. Si se fijan, no lleva el verbo go ni con, ¿verdad? Interesante. Mm -hmm. Entonces, esto se refiere como en general a cosas que no se pudieron lograr, ¿ok? No es solo de okay. venir a la fiesta, sino cualquier otra cosa que no se pudo lograr. Ustedes pueden decir, I couldn't make it, she couldn't make it, ¿ok? And then, I don't have any other, but we're going to practice this little conversation, ¿ok? I'm going to start, uh, and I'm going to do it with, it is, help me with it. I'm going to be Liz, and you are going to be Raúl. Are you ready? No? Yes? Maybe? Tomorrow. 
it is snow. Here I guess. Mm, okay, let's start with Brenda Sandoval. Vaya Brenda, yo voy a ser Liz y usted va a ser Raúl. Okay. Um, hi Raúl, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called me. She, she, uh -huh. she went. She went. Couldn't make it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing? Wearing? Wearing class over there? Over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, in like to meet her? I like to meet her. Okay. That is another thing that we need to check. Uh, the one that says over there. Do you know what is that? No, teacher. Okay. Over there is como eh, cuando decimos, ahí, algo así. Something like that. It's como cuando decimos allá. El que está allá, mira. Mm. So, that in English is over there. Si está aquí, sería over here. O solo here. That is good enough. Okay. Now I'm going to make the conversation with Francisco. Hoy usted empieza, Francisco. Okay. Hi, Ro. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she is the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Nice. Very good. Now, Brenda Cruz. Hoy empiezo yo. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Good, perfect, thank you. Carlos, hoy usted empieza. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Raul. Good, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know any joke here. Anyone. Anyone here, anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Good. Now, um, Gerardo. Okay, uh, I'm going to start in this one. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to, to meet her. Perfect. Jenny, you're gonna start. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's my? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she is the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Good. Jonathan, um, you're going to start. Hi, Ro. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, when do you go and talk to Jul Julia? 
she doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Ah, oh, sorry, it's me. Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, now Marcela is going to be Liz and Jacqueline is going to be Raul. Marcela starts. Ah, ok. Yo comienzo. Yes, please. Ok. Uh, hi, Rol. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called it Maggie. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over here? Uh, no, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Good, perfect. Okay, when you are doing a conversation, just remember the intonation, okay? Uh, it's not like a regular reading. Well, the readings are not like that either, but uh, it's like when you are acting, right? It's like, hello, how are you? Hey, good to see you. Something like that. Uh, that is like in Spanish. I mean, in Spanish, you don't go and say, hola, como esta? Mucho gusto. No, right? It's like normal. Hey, hello. How are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Something like that. Like very normal. Okay. Uh, well, that was interesting. And then we're going to go to, I uh, guess, there is a checkpoint. Uh, in this session, we will learn to use modifier, uh, modifiers with participles and prepositions. And we did that already. That is uh, the video uh, with some grammar. And then um, the knowledge check. So this is for you to choose the correct one. Any questions with this one? No questions. Good piece of cake okay now we're going to continue with our class <coughs> the dog is angry hold on a second this is it okay here we go so we were checking about present perfect yesterday remember uh, we were checking that the auxiliary is have or has, that we always use the auxiliary, that we always use the verb in past participle, and uh, that the verb, I mean, uh, the present perfect, the tense itself, we're going to use that for experiences, life experiences, or when something started in the past and is still continuing, or uh, as something that happened many times in the past and you don't have a specific date on that one. Um, I guess you have seen that one. You have seen that we check and we use sometimes already and yet. Uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So the first uh, that we're going to check is already. Oh my goodness. It went to China. Okay. Um, so already is going to be for something that happened earlier than we expected. So with the present perfect, uh, we usually use that word after the auxiliary, have or has, and before the main verb, okay? It is a little bit better. So we have some examples for that one. I've already seen that film. I don't want to see it again. So I've, as you can see, we use the contraction that is the most common part. Um, we have another example. Arriving at the bus station, I found the bus had already left. 
So in this case, had is in past because it's a different tense. It's a past perfect, but it's just that the change, okay? The other one says, have you already taken the money? Already. He has already done the shopping. He is watching TV. Mark has already here. Well, aquí le falta el verbo. Mark has already been here or has come here. But John hasn't come yet. And then we have, she has finished the test already. As you can see already, it can be at the end of the sentence. The most common is that it's going to be uh, after the auxiliary. So, uh, do you understand what is already? What is already? Ya. Yeah. Ya, como que ya lo hice. Listo. Ya pasó. Mm -hmm. So, that is it. So, for example, when it says, I've already seen that film, yo ya vi esa película. Mm -hmm. So, it's something that um, tells you something that already happened. It's finished already. On the other hand, we have yet. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. We have, for example, Michael has bought a new dress, but she hasn't worn it yet. He hasn't watered the flowers yet. Okay. It hasn't been decided yet. We haven't been able to solve the problem yet. She won't have sent the email yet. Uh, this one is already ups. And the other one says, you may not have noticed it yet. Have you met your new neighbors yet? So, um, is uh, clear what is yet? Todavía. Todavía. So, for example, in the second one, what it says, he hasn't watered the flowers yet. Él todavía no ha regado las flores. Okay. So, this one is going to be almost always, but well, always at the end of the sentence. As you can see, they are like, like opposite, right? Already is when it's done already. And yet is when still, you're still waiting for something to happen. Or if it's in negative, it hasn't happened yet. And you're expecting that. Do you have any questions with um, already and yet? There is a phrase that is very common in English. It's like, are we there yet? Have you, have you ever listened to that one on the movies or videos? Are we there yet? Do you understand the question? Yet sería para finalizar la oración. In this case, yeah, we're going to use yet at the end of sentence. But if you, uh, um, if you listen to somebody that says, are we there yet? What do you understand the question is telling you? Are we there yet? Anybody? An idea? Como todavía vamos a estar ahí. Mm, very close, very nice. Okay. When we say, are we there yet? It's like when we say in Spanish, y todavía no llegamos. Okay. So, are we there yet? So, it's going to be like that. Okay, the next one is also very, very common with distance. This is going to be um, since and for. Okay. So for, we're going to use that with a period of time. So we can say for five years, for example. And uh, we're going to use for when we measure the duration of something or how long it lasts. So it's a period of time. It has a start point and an end point. 
and can be used in different tenses. So, for example, I studied English in Ireland for two years. In this case, this is simple past, because for is possible to use it with past, with present, with present perfect, okay? The other one is in future, as you can see. I will be there for around two months. So it's a period of time in the future. We have been married for 16 years. That is too much. Anyways, so it's going to be like a period of time where you have been married. And uh, you can see here that it says uh, there are expressions, time expressions that you can use with four. For 10 minutes for eight hours, for five days, for six months, for three years, for two centuries. It's a period of time, okay? Or uh, if you started something at some point. So do you have a question, any question with four? Okay, the other one is since. We're going to use since when something started in the past and continues until now. Since is mostly used in the present perfect and present progressive tense. We haven't seen that yet, don't worry. For example, he hasn't eaten since 7 o'clock. I have been working here since June. We have been married since 2002. So this one, as you can see here, is uh, when something started in the past and continues until now. And there are other time expressions that we can use with since. Since 8 o'clock, since Monday, since February, since 1982, since I left school, since the end of last century. Okay, so any questions with for and since? Or do you use them? Questions. Sure. Yes, go ahead. <clears throat> and seems, um ¿Se puede utilizar, por ejemplo, uh, cuando dicen se fundó o, o algo así? O desde, yeah. desde 1982, por ejemplo. Science yeah. yeah, it's possible. I mean, you can say something started. If something started in the past at some point, you can use sense. Okay. okay. Thanks. Very good. Pero para usar since debe tener vigencia en la actualidad. That is the meaning of that one. That is the meaning. Since. Um, because it's supposed, uh, it's continuing. If you are going to, uh, for example, in mind that a company, a company was working uh, 16 years, but now it's not working anymore. You are going to say, oh, that company uh, has been working for, or was working for 16 years. That means that the activity is a period of time. Since it means that you started and continues. Okay. Good. Any other question? There is another word that we can use that is just. Just is when you, you recently did something. For example, when you say, I just finished my homework. So it's possible to use it with simple past or with present perfect. Uh, you can say, for example, she has cooked, he has, or, or she has just cooked uh, the dinner right now. Means that she just finished that one. Okay? So it's very useful as well to use that word. Of course, since there are no questions, we are going to practice. Okay, so we are going to, uh, well, you are going to tell me what we are going to use with each sentence. Number one, for example, says, my son went to the supermarket, but he hasn't come back. Yes. 
yet very good no yet very nice number two how is going to be number two Leonard has already made his bed, but he hasn't called his girlfriend yet. Very good. Perfect. So, Leonard has already made his bed, but he hasn't called his girlfriend yet. So, you can see that we can use them in the same sentence because there are two ideas, two different ideas. Okay? And you can combine. Who is going to be number three? Miriam has lived in Morocco since she was 10 years old. Perfect. Miriam has lived in Morocco since she was 10 years old. Because when she was 10 years old is the period of time when it started and continues. Nice. Number four, how is it going to be? The waiter has already brought me some coffee and biscuit. Okay, has already. It works. Actually, that is number five. But uh, probably for me, in my opinion, it might be better if you say the waiter has just brought me some coffee and biscuits he just did it right away but we skip one nos saltamos una ahí number four how's gonna be we have already met the new teacher at the high school perfect we have already met the new teacher at the high school as you can see the sentences are like a little bit more complex, right? You are in a conversation and you can say, ah, oh, yeah, we have already met the teacher at high school. If I say that in a sentence or in a movie, or uh, probably it's going to sound kind of complex, but it's not that complex. Number six. Have they visited London yet? No, they haven't already gone there. Very good. That is it. Have they visited London yet? No, they haven't already gone there. Good. What about number seven? That man has already come late again. His boss is very angry with him. Yeah, that might work. That man has already come late again. Mm, um. The same as the other one, maybe I will use just. That man has just come late again. His boss was very angry with him. But already works as well. I mean, they are kind of similar. Number eight. Has the girl lived in French for oh, five. five years? Okay. And then? She yes, has... she... Are arrived five years ago good that is it has a girl lived in france for five years that's it uh what about number nine the plane has flown for very good the plane has flown for 12 hours that is a period of time what about number 10? The businessman has worked in the same office since he was 25 years. Very good. So the businessman has worked in the same office since he was 25 years old. Perfect. Nice. Number 11, how is going to be? There has been many 
accident on the truck since last year. Very good. There has been many accidents on this road since last year. Number 12. John has performed the same play for a long time. That is it. John has performed the same play for a long time. What about number 13? Oh, I'm sorry, but we can hear you. Could you please repeat? Well, I guess that you got the correct answer, but we were not able to hear all the sentence. So it's going to be... The woman hasn't sold, huh? Yet. Okay, yet. yet. The woman hasn't sold her car yet, but she wants to sell it. Okay. What about number 14? I have known my boyfriend since we were at primary school. That is it. I have known my boyfriend since we were at primary school. Perfect. Nice. Let's continue with the practice. This is something what we need to practice a little bit more. Okay. So, uh, how is going to be number one? Any ideas? Remember that we are using this uh, present perfect. That's the one that we need to use. How long have you been in Africa? Perfect. Thank you. So it's going to be how long have you been in Africa? Nice, nice. How is going to be number two? Have I been have have I been there since three years? Probably four for three years. Uh, yes, you can do a question. You can say, "Have I been there for three years?" Or you can make a sentence that is going to be, I have been there for three years. Good. Uh, what about number three? This is a question. How long has he lived in Berlin? How long has he lived in Berlin? Good. Perfect. An answer for that one, it could be uh, four, five years. Okay. Or since... 1995, anything like that. So you can use both for the answer. What about number four? Has. He has lived there since 2002. Very good. He has lived there since 2002 or 2002. Good, perfect. What about number five? How long has she wear the coat? How long has she worn? The past participle of wear mm. is worn. So it's going to be, how long has she worn that coat? And number six. Anybody? It's going to be the same bird. She she has wearing uh -huh. 
it's going to be she has worn it. And after that. Since winter? Since last, last winter. That is good. So she has worn it since last winter. Good. So remember that we're going to use those words as well. Present perfect and for, since, already, yet, anything like that. Okay, number seven. Where have you been today? Where have you been today? Good. Number eight. I have been at the school at the hospital. Very good, perfect. I have been at the hospital. Nice. Number nine. How long has been that to do? Uh -huh. Look for the man. Perfect. How long has the detective looked for the man? Looked as in searching for. Nice. Number 10. He has, he has low sign for him to mom. Okay, he has looked for him for two months. So that is going to be four because it's like a period. Oh, yes. Four is, 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 is okay. nowhere. Yeah, that's going to okay, be. Okay, okay. Like yeah. Nice. Number 11. Why has she taken my money? Good. Why has she taken my money? We will never know. Okay, number 12. She has traveled around the world for, your, for four years. Perfect. She has traveled around the world for, for, for four, four years. Year. Nice. Okay, number 13. Where have you put my keys? Perfect. Where have you put my keys? And number 14. She has moved to a new house in the country. She has moved to a new house in the country. Nice. Number 15. How long have your friend stood her man? Studied. 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 Yeah. German. German. So this one is going to be how long has. Has. Mm -hmm. Your friend, because that is he or she. So, how long has your friend studied German? And number 16. She has studied German since uh, one thousand ninety-nine. Perfect. That is it. So, uh, she has studied German since, you can say 1999 or 1999. So that is good. Uh, repeat, teacher. Uh, the, the year. Line, uh -huh. Yeah, when this year, you can split uh, in two numbers. You can say 1999. 1999. Mm -hmm. Or you can say 1999. Both are okay. correct. Okay. Good. What about number 17? 
you have played golf ever? Mm, but this is a question. So what do you change in the question? Oh. Uh -huh. Have you played golf ever? That is it. Oh. So this is going to be a question you are going to use have first. Have you played or have you ever uh, played golf? Okay, that is when you use ever is like when you say in Spanish, alguna vez, yes. right? So number 18. The documentary has already finished. Good. The documentary has already finished. That was perfect. And uh, num number 19. My teacher hasn't explained that lesson yet. Good. My teacher hasn't explained that lesson yet. What about number 20? Kevin has given his mother a nice present. Kevin has given his mother a nice present. Very good. Okay, do you have any questions after this uh, little practice that we have done? Any questions? This is the moment. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. No, para siempre no. Puede preguntar en cualquier momento. <laughs> No questions. Okay, let's see if that is true. So what we're gonna do right now is a little uh, different exercise. Let me just stop this. Okay, okay uh, sometimes happens. Sometimes happens that we could uh, confuse simple past with present perfect. So what we're gonna do right now is to, to check an exercise for that, okay? So, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to choose. You are going to choose. And then we're going to check, okay, together. So, for example, my f the first one says, my mom had or has had. Had is simple past. Has had is present perfect. Huh. What do you think? Okay, you say had. And the other people? Has had. Mm, we are one and one. Had and had had. What about the other class mates? Has had. Has had. Va ganando has had. Has had. Has had. Okay. Remember to analyze the sentence. My mom. And then it says last winter. Had. 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 Le vamos a ayudar en este. Had. Yeah, now you're right. Solo en este le puedo ayudar. Este sí es had. Because that finished already. El verbo no está en parte. Sí. Ahí está en pasado simple. That is simple past. Okay. Entonces, como es algo que, bueno, ahí dice, normal, normal, tú con un resfriado. El eh, invierno pasado. That means that that finishes, right? Ya no, ya no está enferma. La sería demasiado. Bueno, con el coronavirus no se puede. So, what we're going to do. And the other ones, I'm not going to help you. So, try to check on that one. The next one says, I didn't do or haven't done. Haven't done. Haven't done. Haven't done. And the rest? The rest of the class? Haven't done. Haven't done. Oh. Haven't done. Haven't done. Okay, that is anonymous, so we're going to check on that one. The next one says they have bowed or bowed. Have bowed. How about? Have bowed. Everybody agrees? How about? How about? Bowed. Only bowed. Mm, we have one bout and the other ones say how about. Well, the majority say how about, so we're going to go with have about. Then the next one says I 
have got or got married? Have got. Have got. Got. Have got. I got. I. Yeah, I got. Got. I got. 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 Yeah, I got. I got. I got. I got. mom ever. Okay. So if majority say God, I'm going to go with God. The next one says we went or have gone to China in 2010. Have gone. Have gone. Everybody agrees? The rest? When? When? <laughs> but another went. 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 Okay. Went. The next one says Sam read or has read? Has read. read. Has read and the rest? Read. Has read. Has, has. read. Okay, the majority says has read. I'm gonna go with that one. We didn't go or haven't gone to school yesterday. Didn't go. Didn't go. Didn't go. The rest of the didn't go? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Didn't go then. Then the next one says, I have lost or lost my watch two days ago. I lost. I lost. Lost. The rest of the class? Have lost. Have lost. Okay, so everybody says have lost. The other one says we never play or we have never played rugby until now. Have never played. Have never have played. Never played. Uh -huh. We never played. So, and the rest of the class? Never play. Dos a dos. Never played. Never played. Never played. Never played. Okay. Let's check. Never played. And the last one says, have you ever been to Brazil? Or where you been to Brazil? This is easy. Where'd you ever? Where'd you ever? Where'd you ever? Where'd you ever? So everybody agrees that is where you ever. ¿Qué dice el público? Have you ever been? Uh, one person says, have you ever been? And the others? Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Yes. Have you ever been? I guess have you ever been has a little bit more than where you ever. Bueno, ha llegado el momento de la verdad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 80%. 80% is good. It's nice. As you can see, the exercise sometimes is complicated, right? When you need to choose. And that happens when you talk. When you talk, you are like deciding right what to say sometimes we say present and past together uh, but that is normal what is going to make the difference is uh, the practice that is it there is not other thing this is like driving a car or when you are learning to cook if you practice you are going to have more knowledge and you are going to get more familiar to this one um, tomorrow, I'm going to send you some exercises into the chat. So, in the weekend, if you have the time, if you want, you can practice those. Uh, and, um, of course, if you need something else, we can continue on into that. Okay? Okay. And he have, he have the answers. My mom had, that was had. I haven't done my homework yet. 
they have bought a house this year. I don't remember which one it was in this one, but we have only two incorrect. I got married, that was good. We went to China, Sam has read, uh, we didn't go. Okay, here are the other ones. So this one, it was different. These are the, the ones that were not correct. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be have I'm never played. played. Yeah. We have never played because it's a period, it's something that it didn't start in the past, but uh, it's an action that it was true for a period of time. And right now, probably it's going to change, right? And this one was lost or have lost, I don't remember, but it's the other one. Okay. Let me just check. Okay, it is was having problem with some, the microphone, I guess. Okay, my friends, uh, do you have any question by now with the present perfect? No questions. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to start with a practice, uh, a practice by speaking with each other. So, ah, uh, well, it's not tomorrow, right? It's on Monday. Sad. <laughs> That's not good. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we are going to start uh, practicing with this one. So we are going to create some questions, and then we are going to speak with our classmate. Uh, this tense is very nice for you to interview. When you want to interview somebody and you want to ask life experiences, this tense is fantastic for that one. Okay, so um, any question with the platform, with the class of today? Mm. Solo, teacher, eh, solo se nos va a mandar los, para practicar los tiempos de los verbos. Sí, claro, les voy a mandar algunos, quizás me voy a enfocar un poco en este tiempo ahorita. En la otra semana lo que quisiera, porque ya casi terminamos los topics, vamos a terminar los topics y vamos a hacer como un repaso de los tiempos en la clase y vamos a tratar de practicarlos para ver la diferencia entre uno y el otro. Entonces, vamos a iniciar con una práctica hablada y luego nos vamos a, vamos a terminar los topics, que creería yo que para martes ya los hemos terminado. Miércoles revisamos el final test y luego entre miércoles y jueves vamos a hacer un repaso de los tiempos más básicos e importantes. Y si ustedes utilizan eso correctamente, ya pueden ir a sacar la visa, ¿verdad? Ya está. En español, teacher. Well, I mean, uh, I guess that at this point it's difficult, but you will understand. I mean, uh, depends where you go, of course. If you go to California, for example, it's easier. If you go to uh, yes, uh, Houston only English. Only, only English. If nah, you go to Spanish New Orleans, example, New Orleans uh, English there is difficult. Yeah. Some some states, some cities are more difficult than other. But I mean, you you can learn that as well. <laughs> okay, my friends. So I'm gonna send you the um, exercises tomorrow. So you can practice during the weekend if you have the time. And uh, if you have questions, if you need anything, I will be there for you. And, um, well, I hope you have a wonderful night and a very nice weekend. Enjoy the 14th, that is the month of love and friendship. If you don't have a significant other, you can have friends to go out or things like that. So, see you next Monday. Teacher. Yes. Yes, I will último tipo de ejercicios está disponible en alguna plataforma. Algunos así les voy a mandar. Ustedes verán que hay, ah, unos, okay. como, como, hay unos que son así como de escoger o de escribir. Vamos a, a revolver ahí. Ah, ok. Pero eso no lo encontramos en alguna página. No sé sí. si estará disponible. Hay muchas sí. páginas de eso. Sin embargo, es de, de buscar, ¿verdad? Yo les voy a mandar ah, y en okay. estos mismos links donde yo les mando, ustedes pueden seguir practicando porque hay mucho, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you. Son libros, teacher. Son links, son links. Hay oh, muchas links. páginas que son, son bastante buenas en cuanto a ejercicios. Hay algunas que se dedican a explicar, pero a mí me gusta presentar estos como ejercicios para que ustedes vayan viendo eso. Okay, teacher. 
Okay, my friends, see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend and take care. Sunday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.